Iran's Kar-313 stealth fighter, once hailed as the country's fifth-generation aircraft, has been widely regarded as nothing more than a failed experiment. Its exaggerated capabilities, as claimed by Iranian officials, have been dismissed by aviation experts and enthusiasts alike. However, despite its shortcomings as a manned fighter jet, the Kar-313 might find new life as an unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, in Iran's growing drone arsenal. The Kar-313 was unveiled in 2013 as Iran's first fully indigenous stealth platform. Iranian officials boasted of its ability to carry a significant payload and its potential for low-altitude flight. However, subsequent analysis of the limited footage available revealed major design flaws that rendered the aircraft impractical. Its cockpit was too small to accommodate a pilot, casting doubt on its claimed capabilities. The airframe's sharp edges and twin tail design, reminiscent of American fifth-generation fighters, raised further skepticism among experts. One notable design flaw was the exceptionally tiny nose section, which could not house the necessary radar equipment. Additionally, the absence of a nozzle meant that the fighter's engine would be destroyed by its own afterburners. These shortcomings pointed to a lack of technological expertise required to produce a truly advanced stealth fighter. While the Kar 313's potential as a manned fighter jet may be dubious, it could serve as a valuable asset in Iran's expanding UAV program. Over the past decade, Iran has developed and supplied affordable yet lethal drones to proxy groups in the region, including Hezbollah, the popular mobilization units, and the Houthi rebels. These drones have significantly enhanced the combat capabilities of Iran's allies. Posing a significant threat to regional stability, through the sale of drones, Tehran has found a means to fund its military apparatus, particularly in light of economic sanctions. If successfully transformed into a UAV, the Kar-313 could become another lucrative export for the Iranian regime. This move would align with Iran's ambition to become a major player in the drone manufacturing industry, boosted by its recent provision of lethal drones to Russia. While the Kar 313's failure as a manned stealth fighter is evident, its potential as an exportable UAV presents a game-changing opportunity for Iran. As the country continues to expand its drone capabilities, the Kar 313 could become a critical component of Iran's military strategy, amplifying its influence in the region and generating much-needed revenue in the process. Fact Section Q1. What is the Kar 313? A1. The Kar-313 is an aircraft developed by Iran and initially touted as a fifth-generation stealth fighter. Q2. What were the claimed capabilities of the Kar-313? A2. Iranian officials claimed that the Kar-313 could carry a significant payload and fly at low altitudes. Q3. Why was the Kar-313 regarded as a failed experiment? A3. Analysis of the limited footage available revealed major design flaws, including a cockpit too small for a pilot, sharp edges, and a twin-tail design reminiscent of American fighters. It was also found that the nose section was too tiny to house necessary radar equipment, and the absence of a nozzle meant the engine would be destroyed by its own afterburners. Q4. 
Could the CAR-313 be used as an unmanned aerial vehicle, who of? A4? Yes, despite its shortcomings as a manned fighter jet, the CAR-313 has potential as a U of an Iran's growing drone arsenal. Q5. How has Iran utilized drones in the past? A5. Iran has developed and supplied affordable yet lethal drones to proxy groups in the region, such as Hezbollah, the Popular Mobilization Units, and the Houthi rebels, which have significantly enhanced their combat capabilities. Q6. How does the sale of drones benefit Iran? A6. Through the sale of drones, Iran has found a means to fund its military apparatus, particularly when faced with economic sanctions. Q7. Could the CAR-313 become an exportable UF? A7. Yes, if successfully transformed into a UF, the CAR-313 could become another lucrative export for Iran, aligning with its ambition to become a major player in the drone manufacturing industry.